you guys have been going nutso for this dude. And he's got a new review of the Mr. Beast Burger. It's Joe. My name is Joe, and welcome to episode 403. This is the last video in 2023, cooked in the shadows, behind the scenes, within the city limits of Fairmount, Georgia. A special Joe's Hungry congratulations to Kyle and Addie for tying the knot. Fuck yeah. Rita Anderson, happy birthday. I want to thank everyone that took their valuable time to participate in this week's food poll because I'm headed to my local ghost kitchen to check out the virtual restaurant's signature Mr. Beast style burger. If you don't know what a ghost kitchen is, by definition, it is a single kitchen that prepares and serves food for multiple brands, either virtual or real. Ghost kitchens can be run out of office buildings, warehouses, or even shipping containers, or fortunately for me, out of the back door of my local Ruby Tuesdays in Calhoun, Georgia. A virtual restaurant like Mr. Beast mostly exists digitally and has very few, if any, real walk-in locations. Mr. Beast offers four burger versions, the Chandler style, the Chris style, the Carl's Deluxe style, and finally the Mr. Beast style, which is what we're doing today, and it's constructed with two or three beef patties, house seasoning, whatever that is, American cheese, pickles and diced onions, mayonnaise pickles and brown mustard on a toasted hamburger bun. Each one of these will chew your diet apart with a greasy 950 calories. I have the nutritional information on the screen and in the description below. If you go out and pick it up yourself, like me, to get it hot and fresh, one of these signature burgers will tap your dwindling finances to the tune of $9.99. For a hefty upcharge of $2, you can make this thing into a triple burger version. Get the combo version for an eye-popping $17.29 before taxes in Georgia. Much to my disappointment, and really not much to my surprise, Mr. Beast doesn't provide any serving weights. I attempted to reach out to customer service to ask him this very question, but what I found on their website was a dead link. Oh, Mr. Man. Beast, we're not getting off on the right foot here. But fear not, nobody can hide forever from the Joe is Hungry scales where we're gonna calculate the actual, real, relative fast food price per ounce. So now it's time to unleash the beast. Head over to the back door of my local ghost kitchen at Ruby Tuesdays, AKA Ghost Kitchen in Calhoun, Georgia. I've never ordered from a ghost kitchen before, so let's go ahead and uh, get my order in. All right, I've got my order in. Now it's time to do the Joe is Hungry temperature test. I've got my Beast Burgers. They had a little trouble making them. I don't think they had made them before. So let's go ahead and hope for the best. Mr. Beast number one is 131.5 degrees Fahrenheit. Mr. Beast number two is 137.7 degrees Fahrenheit. Mr. Beast number three is 123.1 degrees Fahrenheit. So Mr. Beast, AKA Ruby Tuesdays, Ghost Kitchen. I know you cook these things to order, but I also could tell that maybe you really hadn't done a lot of them because you let these things die in the past. And if you watch this- Was it cold? Any length of time, you know you failed the Joe is Hungry oh, no. temperature cool. test. So now it's time to- Oh, hell no. Break out Please. the scales, Keep fire up the cameras, sharpen the knives, head back to the- You don't the fail Dude, Joe's, Joe's oh, yeah. hungry temperature test. And as you- Usual. We take off for the packaging. Yo, he's gonna hate we this. Set the tear on the scale. Thank you for all these subs, guys. Thank you so much. Mr. Beast number one weighs in at 7.65 ounces. Mr. Beast number two weighs in at 7.50 ounces. Isn't Mr. Beast not even associated with Mr. Beast Burger anymore? Mr. Beast. Number three weighs in at 7.90 ounces or 225 grams. Well, at least that's fucking crazy. The weights are fairly close. So today, Mr. Beast, I'm going to give you a pass on the Joe's Hungry consistency weight test. He's suing them. Add them all up, average them out, do the math. You come up with a stratospheric $1.30 an ounce. So is all this worth it? Well, we. 
The overpriced alarm. You'll see because now it's time for the Joe is hungry big reveal. This might have better editing than Saltburn. Those burgers are ass. I used to eat them not knowing who Mr. Beast was. Why did you eat the burgers then if they were bad? Why did you keep eating them? This is what it looks like. And this is what it's supposed to look like. This is what it looks like. And this is what Mr. Beast would have you think it looks like. We've seen what it looks like and we saw how much it was. It only remotely resembles its ad photos. And the price, that's astronomical. I mean, this thing doesn't weigh any more than a Big Mac. This is gonna be a bad score. But again, I really can't pass judgment until we do one more test, and that would be the Joe is Hungry Bite Test. So it is Bite Test Engage. Ladies and gentlemen, the over under right now is 15 cuts. Ready? Three, two, one, go. One, one cut. Two. He's going very slow. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Fourteen! Under! Under! It's the under! I don't believe it. I can taste what little onions are actually on the burger. I can see a small amount of ketchup, but I really can't taste it. This house seasoning they speak of, as far as I'm concerned, it really doesn't exist. I could probably taste a pickle, providing I can find it. Apparently there's a little bit of confusion on how to make this thing. Apparently they don't make it very often, and I'm kind of beginning to see why they put it out in the past like it was done pull it back take it apart put it back together again probably explains the low temperature was this you missed a cut i'd still be the under better right out of the door you may ask well to find out we need to peer into the shadows talk to michael ganger and see what he has to say and do the joe is hungry sneak a doodle bite sneak a doodle bite number one Sneak a doodle bite number <clears throat> two. Sneak a doodle bite number three. Mm. <sighs> I love the sneak a doodle bite. I was expecting a little bit more meat, lukewarm, bread's a little bit dry. Let's move on with this video. Since they let it die in the past, and didn't start over like they really should have. It's no better then than it is now. And now it's time to give this thing a score. If you don't know my scale, my scale is one to 10, nine being the best. Anything above nine is a once in a lifetime experience and almost never achieved. Five and down, is it all too familiar? Slippery slope to the pits and depths of fast food hell. So let's go ahead and give this the score that it really deserves. He's gonna hate this. For this kind of price, and the hype, one expects a whole lot more. Mr. Beast, now I can see why you're suing the ghost kitchen people. It is edible, mm. but in a word, for the money, the hype, this is embarrassing. So today, I'm gonna have to go 4.7. This is my number. I thought it'd be way worse than that. I thought it would be way worse than that. This is my review, and hopefully I will see you in the next video. Um. It's a you know what's interesting? I Mr. Beast is suing that ghost kitchen place. It's crazy to me that they 
I'm going to be real. They fumbled the bag so badly. If they had really put effort into it and not tried to save cash on Joe always orders three of the items and weighs three items. Yep. How does he do a sneaker doodle bite? Am I dense? He might order four. He might have a sneaker doodle burger. It's, it's crazy to me that like, yeah, here you go. <sighs> Mr. Beast is suing his ghost kitchen partner over inedible Mr. Beast burgers. Crazy. Revolting, disgusting, and so oh, <clears throat> What is that? Holy shit, bro. Um, they fumbled the bag so hard because if they had made Mr. Beast Burgers like even halfway consistently edible, I'm that brand would have gone nuts. I did eat one when it first came out. It literally tasted like cardboard and I like Jack in the Box, so it was... <sighs> Damn. I like the self-report. That person was like, I like Jack in the Box, so I like a little bit of disgusting food from now and then. I am a disgusting food enjoyer.